If you click this video, you probably just want to download this hack, so I'm going to show you how to do that first. To install it, you need to be using Google Chrome. If you're a mobile player, that's okay. You can load the Facebook version in the Google Chrome, and it will be the same account and everything like that. This first step is a bit tricky, so pay attention. The first thing we need to do is open Chrome Developer Tools. And to do that on Windows, you need to press Ctrl, Shift, and J at the same time. On Mac, it's Command Option J, and this will open Chrome Developer Tools. Now, once you have this tab open, you need to click Console. The next step is to activate your browser for the hack by copying and pasting some code that I provided in the description. If you copy and pasted it properly, you should get a message saying, your browser is ready. Once your browser is ready, head over to the Chrome extension store and search for Word Blitz Cheat Injector, which is an extension that I put up there, and find it and download it. Once you've downloaded it, all you need to do is open the extension menu by pressing the puzzle in the top right corner of your browser, opening the cheat injector, and once the game has started and you can see all the letters, click inject hack and enjoy. The next part of this video is going to talk about how this hack works technically, and if this doesn't interest you, or maybe you just wanted to download the hack, then um, yeah, feel free to tune out now. In my first video, I created a hack for WordBlitz that was a desktop node script. And this node script basically was a depth first search, which was optimized by synchronizing the DFS with a try. So that let's say you're searching through and you find two X's, then you just stop the search because you're never going to make any English words to start with two X's. The problem was though that nobody who wanted to install it could install it because the average person who's Googling like WordBlitz cheat doesn't know how to use node. So my first thoughts were like, okay, uh, maybe I could use OCR AI to read the letters off the screen, and then I could package the script into an Electron app, which should work on both operating systems, and people should just be able to download it and use it like that. But then I was messing with the app and I realized like, holy crap, this game is made in HTML. Because when I was a kid, games are made in Flash, and the only way to hack those was like maybe with Cheat Engine, or by messing with hex codes, which I just really didn't understand. So the fact that it was in HTML makes things a lot easier because now instead of physically moving the user's mouse, we can just artificially inject mouse events into the browser, which means that this doesn't need to be like a downloadable desktop app. We can make this into a Chrome extension. It took me like a whole day to reverse engineer the event listeners in the page to get them to like properly listen to the mouse events but eventually I managed to strike fire and I made some code that worked. As usual, you can check the description for a link to the GitHub repo where you can see the code for yourself. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good one.